well, we have our first sorghum going to bloom, and I don't have a mate for it to cross. So I'm going to have to just let that one be on its own. This one is one of the perennial ones, and this is the coral sorghum that's rare. And it looks like that one's going to bloom shortly, and I don't see any signs on the coral. Coral is shorter than the perennial sorghum, also. Then I've got corn down there in bloom, or I should say tassel. And wow, this is self pollinating. This one will pollinate itself. We'll take a better look at the seed head of the sorghum in case you haven't seen it. It looks like corn and then it has a broom that comes out up here with seed heads and then it kind of looks like or reminds you of wheat but with little balls it has little tassels the little tassels are more than likely the male and then the female is the little ball and the pollen comes off the tassels and goes on to the ball and pollinates it. But when we actually go to pollinate it, we'll put, if I had others over here ready, I would put a plastic bag over this. I would cut off the top up here, put a plastic bag over this, and then pull some of it off the bottom here and kill all the male anthers and just have females in here and then take the pollen from this one and put it on that one. What's funny is I planted these two weeks apart so that there wouldn't be any cross-pollination. And this area right here was planted first, and yet the second area is more advanced. It already has the tassels on this one, and I just got it attached by a blackberry bush has the tassels and where's the silks the one knocks some of these down and I need to stake them back up but that's really strange to have see the hairs right there that's going to form the silks or it possibly. The silks come out of the chute here though. Like where are my silks? We have all this pollination going on and no silk. And this one next door shouldn't be, because it's a couple weeks later, it shouldn't be in bloom. And it is, I say bloom, but it's tassel. And then there's a silk. That means that pollen from this one right here is already fallen on that one and contaminated it. And it's good that these aren't corn that I'm planning on keeping where the last ones down here are a month after everybody. And these are um, blue hope, hoppy corn, or blue hopi corn. They're a Native American blue corn. And I was gonna not only grow them to reproduce the seed, but to turn into tortillas. So I need to keep these pure. The rest of the corn can cross breed all at once because it doesn't matter for them. I'm just surprised that the plan this year of keeping them two weeks apart isn't working so well. The heat has the tassels up and the silks are missing on some of them. And they're short. 
And the reason they're short is because I look over here, this is the area we cleaned out from the honeysuckle. And look at all these. These are walnut trees. Two, three, four, five. Probably more in there that I can't count. Yeah, six. And then the grape, not grapes, the um, honeysuckles, I keep fighting. They're continuing to regrow. They also put off a herbicide that contaminates the soil and kills things around it so that they can dominate the area. And there's an oak tree that is perfectly fine. Uh, we've torched this place with a propane gas fire and they still are here along with Milo <laughs> but let's get back to collecting tomatoes